here's the familiar site. We're awaiting a Starlink launch. This is going to be a... Uh, Stage two lock load is complete. Yeah, so we'll be listening in to mission control intermittently here. They don't tend to talk wall to wall during these launches. So I'll pipe in occasionally, they'll pipe in occasionally. I'll try not to speak over them. But uh, we're getting ready to put this in a box here so that we can see the countdown. We're at 90 seconds. Is there a, uh, another batch of Starlink satellites heading into orbit? Regular viewers know that we see these types of launches often. Liftoff is taking place from Complex 4 East at Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. Sometimes we see these things happen at uh, Kennedy Space Center off of Florida's Space Coast. This one's coming from the Southern California area, not too far away from Santa Barbara. According to spaceflightnow.com, launch director, go for launch. The mission is going to be carrying 27 satellites on board. As you just heard, they are a go for launch. T minus 30 seconds. And the unique thing about these Starlink launches is you'll see this eight minutes after it launches, its booster will bring itself back down to Earth for reuse. T minus 15 seconds. I'll land on a drone ship. 10, 9, Let's 8, watch. 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. And lift off of Falcon 9. Go SpaceX, go Starlink. Stage 1 propulsion is nominal. Vehicle is pitching downrange. Power and telemetry nominal. SpaceX is using a Falcon 9 first stage booster. This is its 18th Falcon flight. Falcon 9 is supersonic. Once this booster, in about seven minutes, Max Q lands on a drone, drone ship, that will be the 131st landing on this vessel and the 450th booster landing total to date. Spaceflight now says 27 satellites are on board and with this flight, SpaceX will have launched a total of 8,700 Starlink satellites into orbit, of which more than 7,500 remain in orbit. We're now a minute 46 seconds into this launch. Let's keep watching. Main engine cut off. Stage separation confirmed. MVAC ignition. For those just tuning in, this is a batch of Starlink satellites. It's aboard a Falcon 9 rocket. The liftoff took place not from Florida's Space Coast, like we sometimes see. This one was from California's Vandenberg Space Force Base in California. 
not too far away from Santa Barbara. Seeing some stage separation. And again, in about five minutes, we'll anticipate the booster to park itself on a platform. Expect that to happen. And they will stream it live when it comes back down to Earth. That'll be about eight minutes after liftoff. Right now, we stand at about three and a half minutes after liftoff. So let's keep listening. Let's keep watching. Those of you who are uh, curious about space coverage, we do expect there to be a Starship test launch on Tuesday. As soon as Tuesday, I should be clear. We're always at the mercy of weather and other variables. vehicles are on a nominal trajectory. I'll reiterate that spaceflightnow.com says that 27 satellites are on board. And with this flight, SpaceX will have launched a total of 8,700 Starlink satellites into orbit, of which more than 7,500 of those remain in orbit. This launched from Vandenberg Space Force Base in California about six and a half minutes ago. And in about 90 seconds, we do expect that we will see the booster land itself back onto a drone ship on Earth. That's always a cool thing to watch. Stage two, FTS has Stage faced. one, transonic. Stage one, landing bird. Pay attention to the box on the left portion of your screen. That's where the booster will land. Stage two is in terminal guidance. Stage one landing like deploy.
Page one landing confirmed. So that's the part I always look forward to the most when we watch these. And that's why SpaceX broadcasts every single one of these, and then they wrap it up after the booster lands. It's awesome to see. Um, it's always the same thing, by the way. These thing, we watch these things launch all the time, these Starlink satellites. Um, and eight minutes after liftoff, you'll always see those things land back on a drone ship. Um, it's awesome. And now that this one has happened, Spaceflight Now says that this 131st landing of a uh, booster on that specific vessel, it's the 450th booster landing to date. So some pretty cool stuff out of SpaceX. All right, time for us to head to a commercial break. 641 in the nation's capital, 341 out west.